Good morning and welcome to Lose It With Jodie. Today is Friday. It's Fitness Friday where we're going to do our 10,000 steps. You can see Liam is behind me in the newest Michelobe disco here. If you're walking past, give us a oi oi. <laughs> Liam's already had one of those. Right guys, <laughs> I want you to march on the spot. So we're just lifting our knees. If you've got a Fitbit on, make sure you push your arms. So just so you can see where we are right now on the Fitbit steps. I'm currently on 500 steps. That's just because I've been running around getting everything ready. I'm sure you guys out there will also be doing 500 steps today. Just from nothing. You can hear behind me. Liam has just set his tracker. Morning, Tina. Tina was here last Friday. For those of you who joined us last week, you'll be pleased to know this is a brand new slot. So every Friday morning, you can join me in your slippers like me, in the comfort of your own home. Put your own disco lights or Christmas lights on if you've still got them on. And let's go. Right, morning Monica. Hi! <laughs> morning to Gemma. Morning to Bola. Hi guys. Join us. Marching away. Oh, Helen's here. A Michelover resident. Can you hear the music, Helen? Can you see the disco lights? You'll be pleased. Or when she drives past the main road. You'll be pleased to know we did find the remote control for the disco light. So this is why we've got different colours flashing on and off. Right, we've got a little message from Monica. Hi Jodie and Liam. Morning. Hello Staffordshire Showground. <laughs> Good luck Monica. Yeah. Is it an actual show today? Well if you're at a I'll show, I hope you win everything. <laughs> I'm sure it is a show. Or is it a committee meeting? Me, I think. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Good luck with it, Monica. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So just keep on marching. Push and pull your arms. We'll do a little bit of posture, guys. So let's set you up right. We talked about this the other day, but you want to make sure your toes and your heels are touching the floor. Oh, Monica's saying it is a show. Right, good luck, yeah. Monica. Good Win luck. everything. Win everything. Come home with tons of trophies <laughs> and those beautiful rosettes. Right, so make sure your toes and your heels are touching the floor. You don't want to lock out your knees, so keep it nice and gentle. Message from Helen. Sorry, I'll put my kitchen tap on with the flashing lights. I'm stepping. Oh, great. You're stepping, are you? That's good, Helen. Right, I want you to pull your tummy muscles in, but not too much so you can't breathe, okay? So pull them in about 50%. Relax your shoulders back. Head nice and straight, guys. If anybody's ever had postural alignment, this is the thing everybody's out with. So everybody's head is always like this. You need to get it back, guys. Keep it in line with your spine. And then if you've got any back pains or any back problems, it should fix it straight away. Just by keeping your head back. For those of you, you already know anyway, but most overweight people do this because it makes their double chin look smaller. <laughs> so I'm sorry guys, we've got to get the head back. <laughs> let our chins, <laughs> let our double chins show, but have no back pain. It's worth it. Right, I hope you can hear the music this morning. We've got it a little bit further away because it's in our disco speaker at the back. This is why the lighting is moving with the disco. Right, how are we feeling? <laughs> right, now just a little uh, 
I'll give you some warning that Liam in the past has an issue with his leg. So if you just sit down and continue his 10,000 steps, that's his backup plan. So like Liam, you can do the same. Have a seat and do your steps seated. Or you can stay with me, stand up and do them. He said he's feeling tired. I don't know why. Knackered. He only did aqua, dance spit, and went on a walk yesterday. From zero to hero, guys. That's our Liam behind us. Listen. Okay, let's listen to that beat. Down, 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 down. If you're wondering why I'm wearing my slippers, A, I want to show you guys. You can do 10,000 steps in your slippers. Second, I am on a hard floor. And I really don't want the neighbours banging at that door. <laughs> after an hour and a half of stepping. They will be thinking to themselves, oh, that guy Liam upstairs taking up tap dancing. <laughs> right guys, so, I'm doing this Facebook Live on my Android phone. The good news about that is it shows me your little pictures, who's watching. So I can see Helen's still here, I can see Tina's still here, I can see Monica's still here, and if I get a little bit closer, oh, Elizabeth's here as well, morning Lizzie, are you joining us this morning? We're doing 10,000 steps, as always guys, if you're not joining in with the workout and you're just sitting watching, please press that like button, press that love button. Especially for these pink shorts, guys. This deserves a like, doesn't it? You know things are getting serious when you see the pink shorts coming out. So me and Liam popped in Primark yesterday. He was slightly horrified <laughs> when he saw me shopping in the girls' section. <laughs> now, I don't know about you, but this is quite normal for me. There is just so much prettier colours in the girls' section. They go up to men's equivalent sizes. For instance, not bad. these Adidas shorts. These Adidas shorts are actually unisex. But you can probably tell by the colour, and even the design a little bit. I think they were meant for females. I don't care, guys. You know in the future, at one leisure centre, it's communal changing. Soon enough, you'll walk into Primark and it'll be communal clothes, guys. So I'm just getting into the fashion before it's mainstream. <laughs> right, morning, Katie. Katie is here. Good morning. I can recognise your photo now, Katie. Right, are we still on the beat? Come on, Mandy. I'm assuming you're not working, Mandy. Get those knees lifting. Come on. We are going to do our 10,000 steps this morning. <laughs> For those of you who've been following the Moving In With Liam videos, today is day number six, guys. We're nearly at the end. Liam has got to endure just two more days with me, or two and a half days. Great. Every, <laughs> everybody that's been seeing him at my classes have said, How is it? Have you wanted to throw him out yet? <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you don't ask me that question, guys. No one said to me, Oh, have you felt like leaving yet? No, you're all, <laughs> you're all feeling sorry for him, not me. <laughs> No, it's enjoyable. As you know, I love to get on with life, guys. And it has been a pleasure, especially discovering his selection of disco lights. <laughs> right, Mandy's saying... Oh, oh yes, you're on annual leave this week. Which is why, those of you who are in our Facebook group, you've seen Mandy very active. 
who's been loving your posts. A big shout out to Mandy's daughter Chelsea. Yesterday we did the offer out. If you'd like to give up any chocolates and sweets in your house, we will be donating them tonight to the Gears charity for the homeless. And Chelsea gave us a lovely donation. And I said, oh, Chelsea, does your daughter Amelia not want these sweets? She said, yes, she does. <laughs> That's why I'm getting rid of them. <laughs> so this is great, guys. If you want to change your kids' lifestyles, just put apples, strawberries, grapes all around the house. Get rid of the chocolate. Get rid of the sweets. So well done, Chelsea. High five. Right, how are we all feeling, guys? Helen said, who are you moving in with next? Right, I've had quite a few offers, guys. My next penciled in one is a vegan. <laughs> <laughs> so it's quite opposite to our Liam here. But as you know, I'm partial to a little bit of vegan. Natural vegan. Not all that processed soy crap. So yeah, so hopefully that will be pulling off soon. And I'll show you guys how to be a real natural vegan and not one stuck on the toilet full of soy. <laughs> right guys, let's go back to that beat. Right, I haven't mentioned yet our water. Have we all got water standing by? I feel now is the time, Liam, to show them your 99p water bottle. Can you bring it and show it them? Right, guys. How so, many have we ordered now? <laughs> so this, this is nice and close. Closer, they want to see you. Come on, get in there. There we go. So this is a TikTok 99p water bottle. You can put it down there because it'll probably break your arm. It's <laughs> half a gallon, guys. It's a half a gallon and it's just 99p from TikTok. These are the instructions. Open your TikTok app. Search the 99p bottle. Click on shop. And then you will see a few different ones. Choose the colour and as long as it's your first purchase from the TikTok shop. I didn't even know it existed, TikTok shop, before I met Liam. And you will get that water bottle for 99p. Mandy is so generous, she went back to order one for her daughter. And suddenly the price was 4 99 So you can order only one per account. Now I'm sure lots of kids out there have got TikTok on their phone. Lots of dads have got TikTok on their phone. Just order one from every account, guys. We did. <laughs> Because would we do something like that? No. We just happen to have 10 TikTok accounts between us. <laughs> so now we're going to have every colour, guys. Right. You okay? Yeah. Right, let's have a little look on the comments. Christina says, water is by my side. As on Jodie and Liam by your side, Tina. Sorry to be so cheesy. <laughs> I said to uh, Liam yesterday, this is why my dream job is QVC. Because I am able to talk about absolutely nothing for like hours and hours. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's check on the steps. The most important thing. Right, so we'll sync our app with my watch. It's currently on 599 and when it's synced it's going to go up to something wonderful I think. Seems to be taking time to sync. Christina's saying oh she's feeling the love. <laughs> For those of you watching this on replay, welcome to your 10,000 steps. 
you want to watch us live, it's 8 a.m. at the Jody Bunting Facebook page. If you're working or you're doing the school run at 8 a.m., go over to youtube.com forward slash Jody Bunting, click on the subscribe button, and every time we upload our workout, you'll get a little email, guys. It's amazing. But if you don't watch them regularly, they'll stop emailing you guys. The technology is so clever. Right, Judy's with us this morning. Morning, Morning. Judy. Judy's working from home. Can you step at the same time, Judy? That's the question. Right, the Fitbit app is now synced. 2,000. 200. Yes. We are 20% of the way there. And it's 8.15. Morning, Linda C. How are you feeling this morning, Linda? You came to Aqua on Wednesday. I think you might have been chair Pilates on Wednesday as well. So your DOMS, your delayed muscle soreness might be kicking in. Or if you've been doing it a few weeks, you may have very little DOMs right now. Liam behind us is a walking DOM. Delayed muscle soreness. So we did two aqua classes on Wednesday. Everything's getting to her. It's now 48 hours afterwards, so this is where that muscle... I don't want to say pain. Hey, soreness is the correct word. So the muscle soreness will be kicking in. You can tell by the look on his face, guys. Right, how are we all feeling now, guys? Let's talk about our heart rates. So if you place your hand that doesn't have your Fitbit on your heart, you should feel your heart pumping away. Enough so you can feel it. But not enough so it's literally bouncing your hand away. So as I've said before, you want to work in your fat burning zone. If you've got a Fitbit on, or anything that tracks your heart rate, you can open your Fitbit, and it will tell you what your heart rate is right now. So mine is 122. God, mine's awful. And it clearly says the fat burning zone. Liam, what is your heart rate? 132. 132. So this is borderline going into his cardio zone. So if you're in your cardio zone, you can stay there if you feel comfortable, but I would advise you to make your steps smaller and just stay in your fat burning zone. Remember, this could take an hour and a half so I don't need to burn out. I definitely don't need to pass out. And I definitely want you to enjoy the rest of your day, guys. So don't push it too much. As I said earlier, Liam has got a leg injury. So if he needs to sit down, he will sit down and continue the workout. Most importantly, he will keep his arms going. Good morning, Pin Singera also known as Pam, to the general public. Alda is joining us this morning. One of my lovely friends from Everlast Dolby. She also works at Oxygen, that trampolining place on Pride Park. You might recognize her, guys. If not, get jumping. Go and see Alda. Are we following that beat? Or are you just following the tip-tapping of my slippers? <clears throat> or are you following the noise from Liam's heartbeat? <laughs> <laughs> that bass drum pounding away. No, not really, guys. It's good. He's doing well. Okay, so listen to that music. It's changing. Down, down, down. I know a lot of you watching saw the photo from last night. 
when I opened one of the high cupboards and all that bread fell down on me guys. It was comfortable, but I've only just recovered. <laughs> I'll let you into a little secret of that photo. The bread was actually frozen. <laughs> so that was so cold and so heavy and so hard guys. It wasn't like being in a bakery at all. And I think many of you put your laughing faces on it because it's your favourite bread. It's the Warburton's Toasty. Right, how are you feeling? I'm it. <laughs> so he's not sat down on the sofa properly. He's about halfway. The good news about sitting on that edge is the fact his knees are slightly lower than his hips, which is a good place to march on, guys. So you don't really want your knees higher than your hips like we had it the other day, <laughs> because this will overwork your hip flexors, which is again why Liam really felt it yesterday and today. Right, Tina is saying, good work, keep going, Liam. Thank you. Well done, team. High five. By <laughs> he reckons I'll be passed out by 10 o'clock. No, because at 9.30, I'm going to the dentist. He's cooking for the homeless. He's got a job to do today. Right, Donna, morning, welcome. Can you join us to do 10,000 steps, Donna? Marie, morning, what are you up to? Are you going to the gym, Everlasting Burton? Are you going to do your 10,000 steps with us live now from your home? Or are you going to go out into Burton, do it in the fresh air? Yesterday I did take Liam to that lovely place called Burton on Trent. For somebody who's a big fan of alcohol, Burton is not the place to go. <laughs> no. <laughs> Marston's, Coors, there's just signs everywhere. The National Brewery Museum. This was a top fact I learnt about Liam yesterday. He was invited to a New Year's party at the brewery. He didn't go, guys. That's, a, that's an achievement in my book. Must have to a different boy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> he went to Russia and went to the Absolute Vodka Party instead. <laughs> No, he didn't, guys. Yeah. <laughs> right, Donna's left a comment. Oh, you're in Cornwall, darling. Great. How is it down there? Oh, yes, you've been smashing your 10,000 steps. Donna lives in Spondon. For those of you who've been in Spondon, there's that massive hill. And all the bits of Spondon are quite hilly, so it is quite hard to walk. So I can see why you're powering along. Are you doing some hills as well, Donna? One of my friends called Claire Jonas lives in Cornwall and she tells me about this really famous cycling path. Is it called Snake Way or something like that? I can't remember what it's called. But she doesn't go on in this summer because it's so packed full of tourists. But you're, you try and find it now, Donna. It's been lovely and quiet in the winter. You probably see my friend Claire. She's got ginger hair. We used to call her the honey monster at work. She likes it, she calls it herself. How are we all feeling, guys? Are we staying with that beat? If anybody would like to buy one of these disco speakers that Liam's got, it's being sold by a taxi driver in Derby. He's actually just a taxi, <laughs> but he's got a boot full of stuff, guys. <laughs> Liam's bought loads of stuff off him now. <laughs> right, Tina is saying, not as energetic today. Me, Liam, <laughs> or yourself, Tina. Because last Friday it was our first one ever, I think we were all like, yeah, mate, let's do it. And I over-promised you, I said it would take an hour, when it took an hour and a half. 
said it over and over, didn't you? Yeah, but last week when I did it for the first time, oh. I said it would only take an hour. <laughs> you, you, Tina. Well, as I said to Liam, Tina, if you need to sit down and do a bit, sit down. But if you can keep marching. And we've also got the TV on this morning. We've got Kay Garraway and we've got Ben Shepherd. Ben Shepherd is just a bit of eye candy for us to keep going this morning. Are you a fan of Ben or not? Not really. Okay. That's a no from Liam. That's the Piers. You like who? Piers. You like Piers yeah, Morgan? Yeah, he's come back. In a fit way, or Oh, right. no. <laughs> no. A lot of people oh, do. Oh, you my granddad. A lot of people do like him, though. Liam is only 28, by the way, guys, so I'll just add that in. Even Ben Shepherd's too old for Liam, I feel. Right, Tina's saying, keep going. Frozen screen. Oh, no. Anyone else see a frozen screen? I can see Donna's still with us from Cornwall. Mandy's with us. Am I still live? As you know, with Facebook, generally the app, because they've always got so many new features and they're updating the app, you often get errors. So hopefully we're still live. Because if we're not live, me and Liam are going to sit on the floor now and have breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Eat that bread. Which is something we'll tell you about, guys. In a minute, what we're having for breakfast this morning, because that is also going to keep us going. Right, Tina's saying, Piers, not for me. You're still live. Yes, we're still live. So Tina won't be watching Talk TV, which is launching soon. The new show, the new job for Piers Morgan. He will be the breakfast host of this brand new channel. It's just a rolling news channel, guys. Can't wait. So unless you like to see like fighting first thing in the yeah. morning, I wouldn't watch it. <laughs> you like that sort of thing, go for it guys. If you want more holistic start to your day, I wouldn't bother turning the TV on at all guys. Get yourself on Spotify, get yourself on YouTube music, put some nice music on, it's the best way to start the day. If you've got a disco speaker from your local taxi driver, even better. The blue light you guys saw the other night when I was sleeping. So nice. Especially if you've got a white ceiling. I think everyone's got a white ceiling. Right, Mandy. I'm marching with you. Small round of applause for Mandy. And I'm going to clap really fast so my Fitbit does even more steps, Mandy. <laughs> Right, Tina is saying no breakfast TV for me. Excellent. That's good to hear, Tina. So again, I'll give you some more facts about Liam. He woke up this morning, 20 to 7. 7. Great. So anything before 6, guys, is not, not so good. But waking any time after 6, between 6 and 7, is perfect in the winter. So your body should try and follow the sun and moon. Morning Sarah. Sarah did message me last night saying, I've got this really weird taste in my mouth. Sarah's never done keto before guys. I said oh perfect. That means you're in ketosis. Congratulations Sarah. So again, for those of you who have done a low carb or keto, you know what it's like. You say the word keto, all your devices pop up with everything you can buy for keto. And one of the things it always suggests is those testing strips to see whether you're in ketosis. They're a bit of a waste of money, guys. When you're in ketosis, you'll know. Your mouth will tell you. Sarah told me she could taste mercury in her mouth, like a metal flavour. When I get it, guys, I get much worse than mercury. 
<laughs> and I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> but yeah, just to have a nasty taste in your mouth. For those of you who don't know what ketosis does, so a normal body, it burns carbohydrates and protein. Now the problem with that is if you're trying to make your metabolism go higher, you don't want your body to eat your protein, your muscle. We want to keep our muscle, don't we? We want to get rid of that fat. So when you go in ketosis, your body changes its energy fuel from protein and carbs to fat. So this is why keto is so popular, because you're no longer burning muscle mass, you're burning pure fat. There is a few side effects you can have during that transition. But as I said to Sarah yesterday, I don't like to talk about them too much, because as we all know, the mind is more powerful than the body. And when you're looking for something, especially when you're looking for something bad, it generally comes into your life, guys. So this is why I've told Sarah, if she gets any funny feelings, let me know. And I'll let her know if it's normal. They're not awful side effects, by the way. Just some weird ones. Like the ability to fly. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> Although that would be quite cool. Keto fairies, could you imagine? As you can tell by the things I'm talking about, the adrenaline has started to kick in, guys. So those good hormones are being released. Again, for those people wondering why I was so happy last night on Liam's video, it's because we've just announced it. Those endorphins were like spewing out. Morning Emily, welcome to our live video. Emily and her sister Sophie are in our free course. They'll be doing the Instagram live tonight at around 8 p.m. Currently on the Fitbit leaderboard, I am an Emily and Sophie sandwich. Emily is above, I'm in second, and Sophie is third. Who's going to win, guys? We take a reading on a Saturday night, about nine o'clock. I've got a feeling Emily's got some runs planned for this weekend. So she's going to continue to beat me and Sophie. Right, how are we doing on water? I've managed half a litre. So half a litre down. Let's check our steps. Oh, they're right there, I think. Let me just see to make sure. We're on 4,300. So we're almost halfway there, guys. It's 8.32. So that means if we continue this pace, we should be done about quarter past nine. And as you know, after one hour, we do speed the music up a little bit as well. How are you feeling there? Do you want to open the other door as well? So again guys, make sure you've got some airflow in your rooms, really important. If you're alone in your house and you don't mind, tops off, bottoms off, whatever you need to do guys. Let your body be cool. Remember if 10,000 steps is too much for your fitness level, feel free to stop at any time and just work on trying to do a little bit more every day. Mandy, is Chelsea up? So she said she, she was complaining she had to get up at seven. I'm guessing she's on the school run. Claire has just joined us. Morning, Claire. We're live from Bickelova. We're doing our steps today. 
10,000 steps in me slippers, in me pink shorts. Remember, if you've got your Fitbit on, keep that on going. <laughs> I'll tell you a small story about Liam's new tracker. We were so annoyed. <laughs> he got this new tracker. We both did the same thing. Mine says 12,000, 13,000 steps. He oh. said 1,000 steps. <laughs> And even we went for another little walk, and it still didn't add up more. It turns out his tracker was reading calories, guys. <laughs> <laughs> there was us about to smash the smithereens out of this new tracker. And it turned out it was calories, guys. So when you realise you've burnt a thousand calories, yeah, it makes you feel good. Thinking, yeah, what was it, 1,600 yesterday? Yeah, 1,600 calories. Right, let's have a little read of Mandy's comment. Are you joking, Jodie? Amelia is at her dad's, so she doesn't have to get up to the schoolroom. I didn't know this information, Mandy. How often does this occur? Chelsea was making up chest to get up at this terrible early time of saying 7 a.m. every day. <laughs> Oh, I look forward to our private chat later, Mandy and Chelsea. As soon as... In fact, I think I'll do it now. Let's try and wake her up. <laughs> right, so we have a private group between Mandy and Chelsea. Evil. And the story behind it is... Mandy couldn't figure out how to send me a message, so Chelsea created a group for her that she was in so she could message me. It's called Weight Loss Slim Brother. It's a good name. Right, so I'll put morning, Chelsea. Typing uh, as you're marching is difficult. Morning, Chelsea. How are you finding it getting up at 7 a.m. every day? Love heart. She probably knows I'm being sarcastic, guys. So we'll put a little love heart in that. And that message is now gone to Chelsea. And Mandy's phone. <laughs> and Mandy is saying, ha ha ha, <laughs> Amelia to her dad's every week, well, every Wednesday, so she only does three times a week. Right, let's see whether she admits it, Mandy. Or are you now going to tell me she's not even awake and won't be awake till about 10? <laughs> Right, Liam's sitting, guys. I'd like to say join Liam and sit down if you can. If you've got like a kitchen chair where your hips are the same level as your knees, that is perfect. This will stop your hip flexors from aching. Tina, how was your chair the other day? Did you have a correct height chair? Did you do it in your office chair? The problem with those office chairs, especially the luxurious ones that bounce back, I could imagine you kind of bouncing back every time you stepped. I know it has got a lever to stop it from doing that. Right, I'm going to have some water. I'm feeling thirsty, guys. So again, move your tongue around in your mouth. Are you thirsty? Or have you just not brushed your teeth? Oh, or, is, or is your name just Sarah and you've got this vile keto <laughs> flavour in your mouth? For those of you who don't know, I'm currently in ketosis. Monica's probably in ketosis. I would love to say Liam's in ketosis, but because of these little bits of sugar he's been having, he's not in ketosis, guys. So we're going to try and get him in ketosis over the next couple of days. 
morning tea should be yesterday. I know, but it takes a couple of days to get into the toaster. I'll just get really close, guys, and I'll be able to smell his breath. <laughs> This is what I said to Sarah yesterday. Has your husband not told you that you've got stinky breath? She said he doesn't get that close. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Glenn. Show Sarah some love. <laughs> Morning, Tracy G. Tina, I mostly walked and just sat in the office chair a couple of times. Great. Well done, Tina. For those of you who did try this seated on Tuesday, you can feel it's just so much easier. Unless you me. <laughs> unless you have a leg issue, a knee problem, an ankle problem, anything that weight bearing will affect, then do it seated. If your name is Sally, don't try this standing up. I want you to sit on the edge of your bed, Sally, and just join it. Remember, Sally, I want you to put your hand on your heart and I want you to feel your heart rate. Why are we talking about it? Let's get our Fitbits out. A, we'll check the steps because I know we're going to be on halfway there by now. Yes, we're over halfway, guys. So we're on 5,200, and the time is 8.40. So we should be done for quarter past nine. My heart rate is at 120. So I'm still in the fat-burning zone. Liam? 118. Right, 118. So he's come down, which is good. Would anybody like me to send a message to anyone else right now, guys? Because I'm not going anywhere for the next half an hour or more. This is the Jody Wake Up Service. We can even do a call if you want me to. <laughs> if Monica wasn't at a dog show, we definitely would have called Monica live. So you could all hear Monica first thing in the morning. Hello. <laughs> If you're one of the doctors and nurses that works at Derby Royal and this is your car, we love your car. Move it. <laughs> no, no. You don't need to move it, Liam, because should we ever pass out, they're going to save our lives. <laughs> that mini right there could literally be saving our lives, guys. <laughs> Again, if you know where we are, if you drive past, look and stop right there. We can be able to see you in the window, guys. <laughs> it's a shame Teresa isn't on, guys. For those of you who know Teresa, one of my slimmers, also one of my Aqua members from Mickleover Court, she lives literally just around the corner. And the reason she's not on Facebook at this time is she does about 20,000 steps walking all around Mickleover at this time. So she knew where we are, she'd be there, jumping up and down, doing a Maltese dance. <laughs> Liam's happy. She doesn't know where we live. <laughs> right, Tina. 2K just pinged on my watch, yes. So Tina's got an Apple watch. Liam is saying 3.66. Is it KM or is it miles, Tina? I'll see what mine says. Mine's kilometers. Yeah, because mine is 2.63 miles. I've been in the zone for 47 minutes. And I've burnt 1,500 calories. For those of you who saw my post last night about my dance fit class, I said you could burn 1,000, no, I said you could burn 750 calories. I've already burned 
1,500 just marching on the spot, guys. So hopefully you will guys will see you don't need to do really hardcore exercise. Why we're talking about Apple Watches? Tina said it there, look, she's always less than me. In the professional world of running, Fitbit is often known for over-exaggerating steps and stuff, where apparently Apple Watch is more accurate. I don't believe it, guys. <laughs> I think Apple's wrong. No, I it's think not. Fitbit's right, guys. <laughs> And until the day I die, I will believe in Fitbit. Until you get that one. For those of you who don't know, Google have bought Fitbit, the company. This is why the new Fitbit that's come out looks amazing. It's got a great new design. A Charge 5. I saw one put in the real life the other day. My daughter's boyfriend's got one. It was so sleek. Right, Tina's definitely say it's KM. So likely, um... How are we feeling, guys? I'm starting to feel a little bit of a pull in my back now. I wouldn't even say a pull. I would just say a slight tightening. Which again means we need to shoulders back, head in line with the spine, show us your double chins, pull your tummies in, but not too much. Breathe in and out through your nose if you can. So that's great posture. Make sure you're not banging your feet on the floor. A, for your neighbours, but B, for your limbs, your joints. Should be a toe-heel movement. Use your knees to cushion the move, but don't lock out your knees. Also, make sure your feet are parallel. A lot of people walk like this, guys. You see them down the street. All right, mate. <laughs> Is that a dig at me there? <laughs> no, it won't be a dig. It's more like Kevin and Perry. Uh, <laughs> Kevin and Perry go large. You know, you don't want to walk like that, do you guys? When you're overweight, your limbs do open, guys. So you'll notice as you lose weight, it will be easier to walk parallel. I wasn't digging yet. Yeah. Really? I know a lot of thin people that uh, walk like that. I just walk like that. Zeke said I did. He walks like RuPaul. <laughs> four kilometres. Right, four kilometres. The end of that. So I wonder why his is on four, Tina, and yours is only on two. Are you sure yours is set up right, Tina? <laughs> we had a massive thing with mine, a bit sort of that, jeez. Took him a while, but it's set up. Right, who's with us? I can see Tina's beautiful face. I can see Mandy's. We have our six live viewers. Well done, guys. I understand now is a really hard time to exercise because it's just before 9, it's 8.48, a lot of people are going to work, a lot of people getting ready to start. If you saw my daily routine this morning, my challenge of the day was to set your alarm clock for 6 or as early as you can, try and do a healthy daily routine. So after you get up, the first thing, drink some water. And 
next thing. If you need to physically get up and do stuff, obviously you need to get on with your routine, shower, brush your teeth. And that's basically it. Just set yourself up for the day. And then the final thing was exercise. This is why I do the 8am workouts. I've tried to do 6am workouts. I've tried to do 7am workouts. But me slimmers don't like it, guys. <laughs> We've got to get that balance between optimal health and meeting people where they are, guys. And slowly, this divide will come together. I'm happy with 8am, to be honest. Especially in the winter. <coughs> Exercising when the sun has come up just seems to be a lot easier. As runners will tell you. So tomorrow morning, we will be doing park run at Mark Eaton Park, around the corner from Mithlover. Literally five minutes in the car. If you'd like to join us, we're doing 5k, which is about 8,000 steps. The last two Saturdays, it's been cancelled because of ice. So keep your eyes peeled on the Facebook page for Park Run Mark Eaton. They check the course about 7 and they normally put an update on at 7.30. If you're one of my slimmers, just check the WhatsApp group about half 7 and I will of course update you. Kieran's here, yes! Morning Kieran. Me and Liam were in Burton yesterday. We did keep our eyes open for you when we went past the college. Me and Liam went to Subway yesterday. I was thinking about taking him to the Summer House Bakery for a salad. But there's no Summer House Bakeries in Derby, so it's a bit pointless. I want to get him into the routine of Subway or a salad that's available for him. Tina is saying, don't feel it enough for that yet, but I'm working towards it. Yes, Tina. And this is why doing something like this is a great thing. Working yourself up. Interestingly, Liam tomorrow is being dragged to the park run. But the good thing about Mark Eaton is it's got two laps and lots of benches. So if Liam wants to do just 2.5 km, he can do that, which is half an hour walking. If he needs a break, he can have a break. Kieran is saying, I hope you are both well. Morning, Jody. I'm sorry I'm late today. Don't worry, Kieran, no problem. Remember, all these videos are uploaded afterwards to YouTube. To find my YouTube channel, just search Jody Bunting on YouTube. Or in fact, just Google. Just search Jody Bunting. Click video and you'll see them all there. Click on the subscribe button and it will email you every time we upload. Kieran says he knows the feeling. <laughs> Should we have some water, guys? We might need to refill. Are you feeling the music? I know it's not as loud as normal. We've got the speaker down there so we can fill the room with disco light. And also, we don't want to wake the patients up at Derby Hospital. <laughs> <laughs> right. It looks like now is the time, ladies and gentlemen, to put on the faster music. So let's go to the YouTube Music app, which is where I store my music collection. And this is the spin track that is nice and fast, guys. So let's get that beat together. If 
before we do that, let's just check in on the stats. We are so close to finishing now, guys. We are 6,800. So we've literally got, we're going to be done by quarter past nine. I don't know whether it's because Liam is here, spiritually giving us the energy to go faster. Or whether, I'm sorry, <laughs> or whether I'm just swinging my arms a little bit more. Either way, we're doing this, guys. The good news is, there's not one bit of sweat on my forehead. This means the room is the correct temperature, guys. So if you are sweating, open the doors, open the windows. Now, can you hear that beep? One, two, three. So again, if you're not in your fat burning zone, pick those knees up higher. If you are in your fat burning zone, you're going over it, make it smaller, slow down, small and fast. Kieran's replying to comments. Kieran's saying he doesn't feel he's fit enough to do part run yet, the same as Tina. You know who hasn't joined us this morning? Aaron. Aaron, live from Cape Verde. <laughs> that Portuguese island. I've been educated this week, guys. I love it when you educate me. I thought they spoke French. Turns out they spoke, speak Portuguese. Right, listen for the beat. Let's go. thinking out there, it's amazing how their disco lights are going with the music. This is not by chance. We have the latest technology down there from one of the taxi drivers in Derby. Were you drunk when you bought it? Of course. <laughs> it was a drunken sale, guys. It was a taxi driver selling things. Liam bought that, and about a hundred other things as well. <laughs> this, however, is the only thing I found useful. <laughs> if you didn't see the video from last night, guys, you need to watch it. We went through all these cupboards. We got rid of everything that is not going to benefit his lifestyle after I leave. There's only one thing we didn't get rid of. We might talk about this tonight. We might talk about it tomorrow. Oh. We might talk about it from live from the pub. You never know. Oh, never. <laughs> <laughs> we might drink shame in every pub in Derby so he's never be able to show his face in there again. <laughs> it's a good idea, actually. <laughs> As you may know, gay men know I've, sh I've no shame, guys. Right? <laughs> Especially when you're wearing pink shorts and your slippers on Facebook Live with the doors open and the music blaring. Everyone looking up like, huh? <laughs> 5k. Right. So, Liam has done his park run. He's just got to 5k. So as I promised you guys, if you want to come and do part run, you can walk it this pace in one hour, less than one hour. Right, let's talk about breakfast. I've got some sausage meat. What we're gonna do is put it in a Leica ramekin. So we're gonna line something. I'm going to put a couple of eggs in it. We are going to put bacon on the top. Are we going to bake it? Yeah, then we're going to put it in the oven and bake it. And it's going to be like a breakfast... What do we call? In one? <laughs> like a breakfast thing. The only thing I'm slightly worried about, there's obviously no fresh fruit and veg in that. 
So we need to have it with a bit of salad, a bit of spinach maybe. Right, Susan is here. High five to Alive Fitness. Have you got your stepper on? Susan, do you think I'd be stepping without my stepper on? <laughs> you know what it's like? If you ever leave the house without your Fitbit or your tracker, not quite going out. <laughs> you feel like hiring the local mobility scooter and not even bothering. <laughs> so, yes, we've got our Fitbit on. That's another good thing to add into your daily routine, guys. Oh, slippers, sorry. My eyes aren't what they used to be. And yes, Susan, I'm proving to the guys that they can do their 10,000 steps in their slippers. And again, this is a huge topic, whether you should wear trainers. It's very unnatural to wear trainers, by the way. It's obviously a good protection. For me, they're okay to us. <laughs> and also the door's wide open. I've got diabetes, so I really don't want to get my feet cold. <laughs> or too hot. I'll let you into a little secret. On one of the videos, we had a little joke that Liam didn't have any slippers. And we worked out it's because I'm nearly 44 and he's 28. But what forgot on this one? Right? But yesterday <laughs> we found a bargain in Primark. He's now the owner of some slippers. Congratulations, you've become an old man, Liam. Get a pipe and dressing gown. Yeah, we're going to get him a cigar, a pipe, dressing gown, a full on beard. How are you doing anyway, Susie? What's your plan for the day? If you don't know Susie, she used to run Rosemary Connolly Diet and Fitness in Derby. Many of my slimmers know Susie and love Susie. Follow her Facebook page, Alive Fitness. Follow her Instagram page, Alive Fitness. Especially if you're a woman over a certain age, You'll find lots of tips from Susan. I just like watching what filter she uses. <laughs> she loves Instagram filters. <laughs> All good. Got an online Pilates foam roller class at 9.30. Check you out, guys. So if those of you are bored of doing 10,000 steps and fancy a bit of a foam rolling, Message Susie now. Now, I'll tell you a little story between me and Susie. I messaged her the other day and I said, have you got makeup on? Like really beautiful makeup it was. Or is that a filter? It was a filter. But I feel she's going for more natural filters now. Because you know before, you used to be able to tell if it was a filter. But now I think she's going for natural filters. My favourite filter on Snapchat is called Naomi. It's obviously the Naomi Campbell. It just kind of smooths out your skin a little bit. <laughs> Mandy's laughing. Mandy loves a good filter. Who doesn't love a good filter? He never uses them. He never uses them, guys. To be honest, holistically, it's nice to be natural. But me and Susie work in marketing. It's essential! We can't possibly be live on social media every day without a filter. How are we feeling, guys? The other good news about filters, by the way, Makeup is not good for you. It's chemicals that will be absorbed into your body. It will add to your toxic load. So big up, Susie. Keep yeah. filtering. Get rid of the toxic makeup. Load. That's a whole conversation, a toxic load. <laughs> right, Susan is saying, I think what you are doing with and for Liam is amazing. 
so supportive and such a good start for him. Thank you, Susie. If Liam wasn't sweating to death right now, about to collapse, he'd also say thank you and agree with you. Thank you. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. Susie's obviously talking about me binning all his crap yesterday. I mean, th this is the sort of thing Susie would say. And the sort of thing Rosemary Connolly would love. She'd be like, oh, oh, spiffing, marvellous, well done. <laughs> Giving it to the homeless, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> and I was really surprised this homeless charity that we're doing tonight this street kitchen is not a Christian organisation wow you know normally all these homeless charities these street kitchens there's normally some Christians behind it somewhere but no this one is run by some bikers guys how many of them look like bikers? All of us. Apart from me. You look like the bikers. Apart from me. Apart from me and the women. That's it. Oh no, I think some women in that lot bath do look like bikers. <laughs> I could see Monica on a bike. <laughs> she did. Actually. Oh yeah, but I mean on a bike. What kind? Bike bike? Yeah. Oh, she's did. She? Get Monica. Right, Mandy's saying... <laughs> Mandy's saying she's so unfit, her legs are like jelly. Tina's saying she's tidy. She's not tidy, she's tired. <laughs> Hopefully energy will breed energy. Susan is saying, keep going, Mandy. The fact that Susan's saying that means she's not actually doing the work. <laughs> <laughs> Susie is a true motivator, thank you. Right, let's check on the steps, guys. It's now six minutes past nine. We're gonna be so close to finishing now, guys. So I think another 10 minutes and we'll be done. I'm just sinking my Fitbit now. Mandy's saying to Susie, thanks, I'm trying. Susie lives near the M1, and I'm starting to feel your pain, Susie. We're living right near the A38, and you can just do it 24-7. I should have had it actually even worse near the M1. You're a little bit away from the motorway, so it might not be too bad. It's taking time to sink. I think it's just because we've done so many steps. The Fitbit's like, really? Have you really done these steps? You don't normally do this amount of steps at this time. It's verifying with Fitbit HQ. I like the actual message it says. It says, sinking is taking place. Sit tight. Sit? Sit? You're a Fitbit. It should say, hold on, keep jogging on the spot. Cool down. Oh dear, there's definitely, it's still not working guys. The good news is it is telling me we've done 60 minutes in the zone. It's also saying we've done 3.18 miles. We've burnt 1,700 calories. For those of you who've got a Fitbit, I can also tell you my sleep score from yesterday. Well, 64, fair. It's well, not amazingly more. high, but that's okay. The most important one is when you press on the actual score, it will tell you how much deep sleep you have. And that's where I've got 53 minutes of deep sleep, guys. So you want to be aiming for about an hour. I think the reason the delay is coming through is because my phone is connected to the speaker to get the music and it's connected to my Fitbit at the same time. But we'll keep on trying. If not, 
We'll just keep going till half nine to make sure we've gotten done. <laughs> or we could do the most easiest thing. Instead of checking them on the phone, we can actually check on the Fitbit. I don't like to do it because it means I have to stop moving. We are at 9,000, I think 9,000. Oh no, sorry, 8,000. 8,400. So we've just got 1,500 left to go. Right, come on guys. Stay with that beat. Can you see now why I like to check on my phone? It's very small. Let me try again, and then we'll have some water guys. We're not far away now. Oh yes, we're sinking now guys, so 8,000, 8,500 like I said. Fiona's just messaged me. I'll get back to you Fiona when we've finished our workout. For those of you who don't know Fiona, She's one of the slimmers on our course. She works here in Michelover. She had a job she hated. But from this week, she changed her job. So we're hoping this will help her get motivated to eat better and do more stepping. She's going back in the office as well. I don't know about you guys, but a lot of my slimmers they hate working from home. Just being around food, being around the kitchen. It's great to get out, spend time commuting. I know a lot of people hate commuting, but at least you're not in the kitchen. My other top tip for that is to keep some healthy snacks in your car, guys. Always have a little packet of nuts, a couple of apples in there. Emergency snacks. So if you get into the car after work, you're absolutely ravenous. You can have an apple, you can have some nuts. You still all with us guys? Apparently. He's actually gone quite white now. You feeling okay? Right, Lisa's joined us. Morning, Lisa. Lisa's also one of the slimmers on our course. Are you doing your 10,000 steps, Lisa? You can start now and replay this video to do the rest. So I've just been telling everyone we're gonna have for breakfast sausage meat. We're going to have bacon, eggs, we've got no mushrooms and tomatoes left, so we're going to have spinach with it as well. So it's going to be like a big sausage meat pie with egg and bacon in, and then I think I'll put it on a bed of spinach. So A, it looks pretty, and B, that spinach will help us digest the meat and the protein. Tina's joined us again. This means either she's gone onto a phone or onto the TV. Or we crashed. Maybe a battery ran out. I did say to Liam, this is my biggest pet hate. If my phone wasn't charged before we started this, I'd be so upset. Imagine if we got to 9,000 steps and we stopped. Dead. <laughs> Feel we need to mix it up a little bit guys. If you're getting bored, have a little twist around, have a little shake of your arm, show me your jazz hands, get your maracas out, just stay with the beat. I'm going to have a refill, I'm going to down this water. And then I'm going to tell you about some keto shakes, because they're right next to me. 
right, earlier on this week, I did say that Liam would be leading the workouts by the end of the week. Look at him, guys. Woo! Press the heart button for Liam. I'm going to need a decent one, <laughs> I've still got my arms moving, I've still got my legs moving, guys. Right, now I've got the water from the water filter, and I've got a bit of hot in as well. Because remember guys, if you have really cold water, you're going to want to win. If you have room temperature water, it will absorb into your body. Right, we'll do a step check. And then I'm going to tell you about the keto shakes. We're on 9,100 guys. So 9,100 steps. Right, I'm now going to tell you about these keto shakes. For those of you in my private Facebook group, for my members, this is the Keto Vanilla one by Slimfest, which was just 350 in b and We went to the one in your chocolate, but I should imagine it's like that in all of them, because there was loads of these, loads. 350, guys. There's 10 servings. That basically means 35p for a protein shake drink. That is like so cheap. They're normally like a pound. Keto, two pound. If you don't fancy vanilla, they've also got mocha, which is 4 99 And if you like chocolate, I think that's 5 99 Or they might have even sold out of all the chocolate because I haven't seen any in the Toxter branch. If you haven't tried a keto shake, it doesn't matter if you're not on keto, try it because it's got some protein in as well, it's got some good fats in, it's really thick, really delicious. Now all Slim Fast products have artificial sweetener in guys, so if you've got fibromyalgia, if you've got any sort of hormone issue, Stay away from artificial sweeteners, guys. They'll just play with your hormones, make you feel awful, and stop you from losing weight, guys. That's really important. If you search online, you can get protein powders with stevia, natural sweetener in. You can even get protein powder with no sweetener in, like that Weight Watchers one I showed you. It tastes vile, <laughs> so you have to add into it some natural sweetness, so you can add a little bit of honey. You can add the stevia liquid, or even better, add some fresh fruit, guys, some, something that's in season. So the only thing that's in season at the moment in the United Kingdom is apples. Rhubarb's in season, but that's just going to make it even more bitter, isn't it? So apples are the way to go. Pears as well. Right, we're so close now, Liam. Let's, let's oh, do a little, countdown. My foot's numb. <laughs> my feet are also a little bit numb. I don't know whether that's the cold, the diabetes, or <laughs> this kitchen floor. My slippers aren't that thick. Sound of cold, it's not bad. Right, 9,400 guys. We've literally got a couple of minutes left. Come on, let's stay with that beat. The last 100 steps, we're gonna do our cool down, guys. So just power up, lift those knees, and then we're gonna end with a cool down. I'm counting every single step now, guys. I'm not going to let this screen go off. For those of you who have got a Fitbit or a device and you've got a steps target, you'll know that you'll get that lovely vibration when you get to your goal. It's a great motivator. 
And to be honest, I could just wait out and feel for the vibration. But I love the countdown. Who wants to sprint? Not me. So from 9,600 to 9,700, I'm going to sprint, guys. If you want to join me, we're going to go faster for the music just for 100 steps. Three, two, one. Let's go. So I'm going to go faster than the music. And I'm going to power through. Twenty-eight, thirty. We're just doing a hundred steps fast. We're halfway there. Small and fast. Twenty-five steps to go. Ten. Three, two, one. There we go. Bring it back to the music, guys. Woo! So we're now on 9,700. Congratulations, guys. We can literally see the finishing line. Well done, Tina. A big shout out to you. Well done, Mandy. Congratulations. Amazing, guys. So proud of you guys. As I said, we're doing this every Tuesday and Friday mornings live from 8am here on the Jody Bunting Facebook page. On a Saturday, if part run ever gets cancelled, we also do 8,000 steps, also known as 3.2 miles, also known as 5k on a Saturday morning, guys. So we might be doing it tomorrow. Might do a quick Facebook Live at Mark Eaton Park. So either either way, we'll be live. Oh, Kate is back. Kate is... Oh, she, she didn't go away. Sorry, Katie. She's nearly there. Right, guys. 50 steps, then we're cooling down. 9,453. Right, so bring it down a little bit, guys. And then I'm going to change the music. I think what we'll do now is change the music now, so we're ready. So I'm going to change this to a relaxation track. Okay, and I just want you to do gentle steps from now, guys. So this is literally more like this, guys. You're literally just shaking around. Because what we want to do, your blood will now literally be flowing. There'll be a lovely pace around your body. What we want to do is slow this down, because if we don't slow it down, you're going to faint when we stop, guys. So we don't want that. So just nice and easy, just kick it out. We're on 9,924. So just kick it out nice and gently. Right, Kieran's asking me, where do we find the eating plans? I'll send them you in a private message. Sarah's asking me about nut milk. I'll reply in a minute. Right, 9,063. We are going to do a couple of stretches, guys. So if you can just hang around for a couple of minutes longer, I am going to just stretch three muscles, three important muscles, guys. How are you feeling? Well oh, done. <laughs> Ready for a day cooking? <laughs> yeah. so up. We were going to walk yeah. for a swim today, but we might change the plan. See how we feel. Okay, five steps. Ready? Ready? Congratulations, guys. Just shake out those legs. One leg forwards, one leg backwards. Push all your body weight on the back heel. Bend your front knee. Just bring your arms forwards and feel that lovely stretch in your calf muscle. So really important to stretch this one out because that's the one we've been working the most. Okay, then turn around and do the other side. If you can do these for longer guys, I would recommend doing this stretch for longer than we're doing now. 
especially if it's your first time doing 10k in a long time. So keep your back leg straight, bend your front knee, really push your body weight down. If you want to, open through your chest. Okay, the next stretch, we're going to straighten the front leg and just reach down towards your toe. Now don't collapse the back, keep your back nice and strong, but keep that back leg as straight as you can. And changing sides. I'm still laughing that Susie was laughing at my slippers. <laughs> Why do I think this is normal? They are matching my, not. <laughs> they're matching my t-shirt. I think the outfit doesn't look that bad. I'm surprised you've got a pink vest shirt. <laughs> uh, uh. <sighs> okay, one more stretch. Hold on to something. And what we're going to do is bring the heel towards the bottom. If you've got some shoes or socks on where you can hold on to, hold on to them. Bring the knees together. Push your hips forward. And we're feeling a stretch through the quads and the hip flexor. Now if for any reason you can't do this stretch, this is your alternative guys. So on your tiptoe, knee down, push the hips forward and that will stretch through your hip flexor. So that will do you if you can't do this guys, because I know some people can't do this. Some people go into straight spasm cramp guys, so if you go into cramp from this, Try that other one. Morning Kay, welcome to our live video. Kay, you'll be pleased to know you've missed the workout. <laughs> You're just here for the stretch. But as always guys, remember if you want to do those 10,000 steps and you're just joining us, go over to YouTube. You'll see the workout from Tuesday, from last week. And this one will be uploaded in a couple of minutes. Again, if you can't do this, your alternative is to step back drop the knee, push the hip forward and stretch through your hip flexor. Okay, let's have a big deep breath, breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth and give yourselves a huge round of applause. Jamie Lee is saying you're looking amazing Liam, so proud of you. Thank you. That's a great way to end the video guys, thank you for joining us, we'll see you again tonight between 8 and 9 with Liam's update, I'll be live tomorrow morning for another workout. Enjoy your day. Happy Friday.